Hey, just thought I would do a quick review of the Sony soundbar, the HTGT1 soundbar, party soundbar with LED. Because uh, I um, was looking for a soundbar and I wound up buying this one, but when I was looking for reviews of it, there was nothing online. Not in English anyway, so um, here it is. I've had it for about, ooh, I'd say, um, a month now. And overall, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I think it makes great um, noise, great sound. Um, I'm by no means an expert. Um, I do do video work, but um, I don't um, do any specific audio work. So I'm no expert, but it sounds nice to me. And I got this because I wasn't looking for a surround sound system because um, we have quite a small little living room here. So um, we didn't need anything massive with sound coming from every side of the room because it would just would have been too much. It's quite a small living room. So this sound bar was the way to go. But I also wanted something with a bit of bass. And so as you can see down there, that is uh, what was, what's gonna solve that problem. Um, okay, so first off, the good stuff. Um, I really like that the speakers are quite large, although that comes with its own downside. As you can see, I've had to prop up my TV um, on top of an old subwoofer which broke, which is what prompted me to get this in the first place. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's it's definitely a good sound bar though. So the other good things are, um, uh, one of my favorite things is that it only needs one power plug to power both the sound bar as well as the sub down there. So um, as you know, behind your TV, you can get a lot of devices, consoles, that sort of thing going on. So it's nice to only have to use one power plug for your sound system. Um, the Bluetooth is great. So yep, your phone can connect to it and you can play any sort of phone music, music through your iPad, um, even from a computer, I'm pretty sure. Um, and that connectivity is really good. There's also an app to control all that stuff and the app works very, very well. You can even set the um, thing to be woken up by your, by your phone. So you can have it off and um, then wake it up through Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth standby. Although that does mean that there's a blinking light on the top of the um, Sony sub. So you'd have to deal with that. I mean, you can always put a piece of um, tape over it, but because of that, I assumed that it was using up a fair bit of power. So I just turned that off. Um, the other thing you can do is customize the EQ, which is great because if you have different size living rooms or different um, shaped spaces, you're gonna to wanna to do that to make sure that it sounds the way you want it. So definitely one of the first things you do is you crack it out, um, turn it up to break in those speakers a little bit. Um, and the soundbar does go very loud. So um, you certainly won't have any volume issues, but um, yeah, break in those speakers and then do uh, a custom EQ to, so that you get basses and, and um, trebles and mids that suit your room and the way you like to either watch movies or, or TV or play games. Um, uh, so the bad stuff. Um, basically this thing is marketed as a party speaker um, and that stupid LED thing is ridiculous. And that is one of the first things I did when I took it out of the packet was I was like, how the hell do I turn off that LED? I was hoping that I didn't have to open it up and rip it out, but there is a function to turn it off. So that's one of the first things I'm sure everyone will do because that LED is, um, is pretty ridiculous. Um, uh, the other thing that I have done is, as you can see there, there's a little cradle in front of my thing. I actually put my um, Wii U pad in front of this. Um, not because that's where I, well, because I use the Wii U all the time, but also because I want to prop up the speakers. Because these actually are just shoot out flat and most people don't sit um, that low in front of their television. They need them to be propped up a bit so that the um, sound kind of goes up and into your ears. It does make a bit of a difference, um, but I'm sure people won't be that fussy. Um, other bad things are, um, is that there is no auto power on, at least for me. I am using the um, audio in function, not the optical in, because I have a fairly cheap TV. Um, so I'm using audio in and the, the um, sound bar does not um, automatically turn on when it senses audio. So that kind of annoys me because there is an auto off function when it doesn't sense audio. So it's always it was originally always turning itself off and I always had to manually turn it on, which is fine because there is a remote, but you know, if once you set up the EQ and you've got it the way you like it to sound, ideally you just want to put that remote away and then it turns itself on every time you need it and turns itself off every time there is no sound. So that is one large downside. Um, uh, the other thing is that um, they, the, the speakers do need to be broken in. So when I first turned it on and set it up and 
and listened to it, it was a bit, it didn't quite sound the same, although um, we were going from speakers inside the TV um, to this sound system. So we were hearing all sorts of um, different range of audio that we weren't hearing before. So it was like a major difference. Um, but we have noticed that over time, both we've gotten used to it and the, sp and the speakers have broken in so that it all sounds really good now. Um, but yeah, if you turn it on and don't like it, um, just give it a bit of time because it gets better. Um, and uh, yeah, it, the other downside is that yeah, it's directional. Everything, all the sound comes from you from the front. It all blasts straight at you from the front. There's no surround sound. If you want surround sound, you're, if, if you're in a bigger lounge room, you're going to want an amp or a AV um, receiver and then a whole expensive sound kit all around your <laughs> lounge room. That's going to give you the best sound possible, but uh, yeah, for us in this um, little, little lounge room, we didn't really need it. Um, but yeah, so overall, I would definitely recommend this. It has been perfect for us. It sounds great. It's much, much better than the speakers in the back of the TV. And you will notice a difference when you get one. So um, go for it. I, I do recommend it. This is the HT GT1 Sony Party Soundbar. And um, I picked it up for about 380. I believe you can get it for 380 or 400 Australian dollars. Um, yeah, 